Hey guys, so today for you I have the Canada Goose Pritchard Coat. So this coat is made of polyester and cotton. Now as you can see there's a diamond quilted pattern on the front with goose, uh, with goose down filling. The goose down is $6.75. Um, this, this nylon is designed by Canada Goose. It's made to be durable as well as flexible. So it's a coat um, that'll help you if you need to, if you're doing a more like rigorous activity. It should hold up with some wear as well as give you some more freedom and flexibility. The upper part is a cotton nylon blend that's pretty standard in most Canada Goose coats. So the the entire front or exterior is wind resistant as well as water resistant like most coats are, Canada Goose coats are. Um, it's rated as a TI3 so it'll keep you warm down to negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a slim fit, so if you're larger, order a size down, or if you're a slim person, order your size. <clears throat> These are said to be a low waist coat, so they hang a little lower than your waist, so a little lower than the Chilliwicks and the Borden coats that sit are, that are bomber jackets and sit right in your waist. These ones sit a little lower, and they do have an elastic bit right to them. It's right here, so it's nice. It's kind of hidden out of view, but it's able to give you more, um, kind of clinks to your waist if you have a larger waist or um, a smaller waist to keep the drafts and the cold air out of your coat. Um, now I'll get to some more of the specifics of the coat. So the front has two interlocking YKK zippers with a storm flap underneath. This keeps the cold air and the wind out of your body. Um, the little uh, the storm flap right here is lined with kind of a velour or velvet feeling um, fabric, which I assume is just a luxury feature. To it, it goes up to the chin strap right here, and it clings to your face, and it's just kind of a nice, soft material. On the front, there is two fleece-lined hand warmer pockets down here. They are pretty spacious, so they're perfect for anything you might need to put in there, and they have a nice fleece lining, so that feels nice on your hands. Um, on the front as well, there is a side zipper pocket, and this one, while it's not very... Um, it's only four inches uh, long or wide. It's pretty deep, so you can fit your phone or pretty much anything you need in there. Uh, the rib cuffs are heavy duty, heavy duty rib cuffs, so they will keep the cold and the wind air and the wind out of your arms. Inside the coat, we have just one pocket. It is a Napoleon pocket. It's a zipper on the left hand side, and it is a medium size, so. Um, you can fit most things like keys or a wallet in there. Um, for the hood, we have we have a vertical, what they call a vertical hood, with two um, elastic strings right here to pull the hood in tighter. So the name, the vertical hood, I call it kind of a tunnel feature. It means you can zip it up all the way this high provide maximum protection against the cold and the wind. Um, the fur is 100% coyote fur. It is removable. A zipper is right here if you want to remove it. It's also a wire trim, so a wire frame, I'm sorry, so you can move the hood and kind of shape it how you want. You can also flip the fur in like this or flip it out like this. The hood is filled with down inside, so your head will stay nice and toasty in there. There is a strap on top of the hood right here that pulls the hood up or lets it be more relaxed like that. The can of goose label is on the left hand side right here. And um, yeah, so those are most of the features of the can of goose Pritchard coat. Uh, if you like this video, check out my other coats. Um, I do reviews and I do overviews. Um, detailing some of these co coats. I have limited edition ones, I have regular model ones, I have um, these kind of special, a little different than normal model coats as well. So be sure to check those out. Definitely subscribe because I'll be adding more videos of other co coats that I get and I'll do reviews and kind of showcase them for you. So thanks for watching.